Kia ora, ko Sharon Holt, ko ingoa. Today I thought I'd have a little bit of a session on the difference between koe, korua, which does have a macron, koe, korua, and koto. So you will hear people say tēnā koe, tēnā korua, tēnā koto, and many people, especially teachers, know about the difference because the song Tēnā koe, hello to one, tēnā korua, hello to two, tēnā koto, hello to all, haere mai everyone. So a lot of people know that, but sometimes, even with people that I know know this, I will hear in schools and early childhood centres, people, they perhaps we've, we've come to do a show or something, so if there's two of us who have come to do the show, sometimes people will... Um, sing a song which has the words tēnā koe and that's only to one or they'll say tēnā koto, but there are only two of us so it, sh it sort of shows me there's a little bit of a misunderstanding about those words and not really kind of thinking about it so particularly if you have songs that you are singing with children uh, another example was a song that he had eho mā um, and it was only to me and they were singing Eho Ma which is Eho Ma is friends because Eho is you one friend and Eho Ma means there's more than one friend Ma is another way of saying the plural in some circumstances so if we have songs in te reo that we that have got these kind of words in them and we need to we need to be thinking about is it appropriate to use those exact words in this setting with one or two or three visitors usually so i really encourage you to think about that have a look at the songs you're doing and um here's another example yesterday i was at a cafe and i heard a lady um her phone rang and she picked up the phone and said um, kia ora koto, and I thought well that's a bit weird because it's unlikely that three or more people were on the other end of the phone um, and she clearly didn't have a good grasp of te reo anyway because the, she and the people she were with were not pronouncing place names correctly but when she said tēnā koto, I think it was because her brain kind of had you know people know tēnā koto, and she beautiful oh she said kia ora koutou. beautiful um, way to answer the phone in some ways but it needed to just be kia ora or kia ora koe or kia ora ehoa um, not koto. and the person didn't stay on the phone they hung up on her so I'm not too sure what that was about but just made me think that we really need to use our heads when we're thinking about speaking in te reo for particularly greetings and really simple things. Let's try and get the simple things right by making sure we understand the difference between one, two, and three when we're speaking to people. Hopefully that will help a lot. Kaki